Yo guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video. Now today, as you can see by the title and the video on your screen, that this is Fortnite. I used to do Fortnite glitches all the time, but then stopped, purely because people obviously did like the Rainbow Six Siege, and then wanted me to go back. But I thought, because we're getting so much bigger, we need to keep gaining our audience, and I know it sounds kind of like view hungry and sub hungry, well, I just want to keep getting a bigger audience, so I can make more content for you guys, expand to different games, so we're not just stuck in Rainbow Six Siege. But today, as you've seen by the title, and probably why you've clicked on me, this is how to get bot lobbies in Fortnite. Now it's a very simple, easy glitch to do, and I'm going to be going over it today for you guys to be able to get easier lobbies so you can get more wins. Now this isn't anything bad or like you shouldn't do, it's simple, it's easy, it's allowed in the game, so why not do it obviously. With that said, it's a very easy glitch to do, and obviously I hope you do enjoy the video, so if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, that like button, turn the notifications because I upload every single day, and I'm going to be trying to do some more kind of Fortnite glitches for you guys. So if you are going to be enjoying that stuff, then obviously leave a like and tell me if you want more of it or not. You may have already seen this glitch before, I may be late to it, but apart from that, we're just going to get into it and make it super easy for you guys. And with that said, I've also got some other little glitches, like how to get free skins on Fortnite. So with that said, let's get into the video. So as you can see right now, I'm in a lobby of 70. It was obviously 100 at the start of the video. If you don't believe me, just go to the start. But you know, obviously it did go down where fizzy people keep dying. And obviously, normally all lobbies are like that. But before, obviously, Fortnite did do crossplay, it was always 100. But now they've changed it, you can now obviously go back to just the Xbox so you're not playing against any PC players or playing against any kind of like PS4 players, and it's just Xbox only. And you're probably thinking, well, how do you do that? Now, this will mean you'll get a lot less people in your game, meaning you can get a lot more kills and obviously have more chance of winning games. So for those people who do find it hard to play Fortnite and do struggle, this is the perfect thing for you. So first of all, all you want to do is literally just go over to your settings, so on Xbox you'll go all the way to the right, and just click settings. Don't worry about that game, I can just skip it later. Then after that, go to privacy and online safety, I'll be explaining the PS4 later as well for you guys, and then after that go to Xbox Live privacy. Then after you've got to this kind of bit here, you want to go view details and customise, then after that, what you want to do is go to communication and multiplayer. Then from here, you want to go over to the second one. This is what actual Fortnite allowed to do. So play with outside people of Xbox Live. That means PS4, PSN, computers, really anything, and you want to block that. Then after you've done that, you want to make sure that you have actually quit Fortnite, so you, like I've done here, and literally just load up Fortnite once again. It's that simple and easy to do. And all you've got to do now is just wait for actual Fortnite to do this. But for some reason, Fortnite have allowed all platforms to play together. Again, that is great for the game, so you can obviously play with different mates, so on a PC and PS4. But for those guys who just want easy things and just want to play against Xbox players, because PC players are super OP and are a lot better at the game, and you know, why not? And all you get to do is now just play against Xbox players and have a lot less people in your lobby. So now, obviously, your game may take a lot longer to actually upload, obviously, or start, whatever you want to call it. But that's purely because you're literally taking away crossplay completely. And as you can see, if you do watch it very carefully, as soon as you start to log in, it goes trying to obviously play like crossplay. And because of that, you are not there at all. You're not playing crossplay, and you're literally just going back to normal games. Now, originally, when this glitch did come out, you had about 30 people in your lobby. Now you have about 50 to 60. It's still not a lot compared to the full 100, but it still makes it a lot easier for you to get stuff. And again, you can get a lot more XP by doing this. But guys, it just makes it so much easier. And you've got to think if you can keep on doing this, then it's just going to make the game so much better. You can get a lot more kind of kills and stuff like that. And as you can see, crossplay platform is currently disabled. Just confirm it. And you can see when you've done it right. As you can see in the bottom right hand screen, I've got limited pool. And then go over to this bit here as well. It's limited pool again. That basically means there's limited players to be able to do it. Then all you've got to do is just get straight into a game, make it simple and easy for you guys. Again, this is a very simple glitch to do, and if you can keep doing this, then it's perfect. But also the problem with this, the ETA is a lot longer, purely because there is less players to match you with, but still it is worth the wait, purely because you're going to have less players to come against, and you have more chance of actually winning games. And the more chance of you winning games is better for you, because then you can get a lot more wins to your name, and also you can compete in better cups, and just have more fair games and less OP players, such as like the PC players, purely because they can work a lot faster than obviously the controllers can, so it's just all up to that. But all I've got to do now is just wait till I get into a game, so I'm just going to time lapse this up just for you guys, just to show that I'm not cheating anything and I'm getting straight into a game, so you guys believe me. But after we do get into a game, I'll show you how to do it on PS4, but it's going to be harder for me to explain on PS4, purely because the settings aren't there. And that is because I'm on Xbox, by the way, not purely because I haven't done the glitch thing or because I've done the extra block. It's purely because I've done it on Xbox, so the same settings won't be there as it is on PS4.
Now this time it did take a bit longer, I think it took like a minute in total extra, but I'd rather it take a lot longer than obviously having to go to the hassle of playing against PC and PS4 players. It's not the PS4 players I'm worried about, it's those PC players, people because they've got the mouse and keyboard, it makes their life so much easier for them, they're a lot quicker, and again, their aim is just quicker than obviously having to use like sticks or like toggles or whatever you want to call them, but you know, it just makes it better for me. But now going into the game, I've only got 54 people in my lobby. That is stupid, I'm already in the top 50 pretty much, and all I've got to do is go straight into a game, making it easier, and not many people know about this, so you can keep on doing this, again the lobbies will get smaller, and over time as the lobbies do get smaller, then it's going to be better for you guys, and I can literally just get straight into a game, play it easy, and get some nice easy kills. And I believe as well, if I go and play like a bit of this game now, the player should be a lot easier to play against, and hopefully this should be the case. And um, I've dropped out straight away because normally everyone drops out straight away. So let's just see if any players are easier to play against. And also, I'm not the best at Fortnite, so don't take my word for this. I could just be really bad, and I used to play it all the time, but now because I don't really play it, I may be really bad at it. But it's, what's the birthday cakes were about? That just shows how much I don't know about this game now. It's so much, it's changed that much. But I've got myself a little gun, some of these little health packs. It's pretty decent and sick. And all I've got to do is just kind of find someone. If someone is around. Again, I don't know if anyone is around. Um, There's hopefully someone is. And obviously, let's just see if there is a difference in players. There may not be at all. But I can see already that the kind of kill death ratio or like how it was. Like the kill rate of them, everyone going down. is going down a lot quicker than it was last time. But still, it's a nice little easy thing to do got some of these i like these kind of grenades i remember these so that's all right i suppose is there anyone around here at all let me just time lapse and just speed this up until i find someone again you guys like the gameplay as usual so why not do it and again guys the players are a lot easier to play against you saw how many bullets he missed on me he was such a noob he ran up to me or a bot wave you want to call him again i didn't have a headset on so i couldn't really hear him but still, you saw the kill. He took ages to come up to me. It's just a lot easier, a bit more fun to play against. And you got to think, if you can keep on coming against players like these, you're going to win the game pretty much. And again, those final few players are going to be easy to kill when you think about it, if you are really good at the game and you've played against PC and PS4 players all the time. So really, apart from that, that is it. And what I'm going to do now is just show you what it is like and how to do it on PS4. So when you're back in the lobby, I'm on Xbox by the way, but I'm just going to explain on where it should be and what it should look like. But go over to your settings, go all the way down to the bottom bit here. It should be about halfway after this long little list. And as you get towards the bottom, around this area here, it should say something like PS4 third party or crossplay. It doesn't happen on Xbox because you have to do the settings, but it should be like crossplay or something like that. And you want it to be from allowed to block and then just apply it. So just changing it. But obviously after that, it doesn't really matter what. And that is it. Well, that's all you got to do for PS4. So it's really simple and easy to do. As soon as you've done that, the same thing again. You should have a limited pool, go into a game, and only have about 50 people. Now, again, this obviously has got some like, alertation about it. So obviously the people went from about 30 people per kind of lobby to about 50. But still, that is half a lobby in a game, making it easier. There are bots in the game, making it so much easier to play against. And again, it's just a super thing to do. But if you did enjoy this content today, let me know, leave a like, subscribe to me, tell me in the comment section if I should do more of it. I know there's probably Rainbow Six Siege kind of watches of me, always do like these kind of stuff where I do change a belt, so hopefully you do enjoy it. So apart from that, that is it. Like I said, there is also a giveaway going on at the moment, so check out the actual description for the giveaway to enter it. Very again, it's easy to do, and you can be winning a chance of one to play with me and a £100 voucher of your choice. But also, three of those steps are to subscribe to me, like the video, and turn on notifications. And it's very easy to do, and I know if you've done it or not. But apart from that, like I said, if you did enjoy it, then tell me down in the comment section, like the video, subscribe to me as well if you're new around here. And until next time, guys, see ya.